Hey, this is DXL2, and I'm going to show you how to play Wii game backups and download games on your Wii. For this video, you'll need a few things. You'll need a computer and a Wii, obviously, and the Wii has to be version 3.1 to 4.1. You'll need an SD card with an SD card adapter so you can plug into your computer and we'll need some hack files that I'll be going over later. Before you start this video you should also make sure you have the homebrew Wii channel if you don't have it. I'll have a link for it with a video on how to get it. And in the description I'll have a download link for some files on deposit files that you need to download. Just extract it to your desktop with a program called WinRAR which I'll have a link for also in the description. Okay, so when you download the files, there'll be a folder called copy contents to SD card. So open up that file and copy all the contents to SD card. You might need to replace some files, so replace them. Okay, now that this is done, you're ready to move on to the Wii part. Just take your SD card out of your computer and plug it into your Wii and follow along. Okay, before we start the soft mod, you need to back up your Wii NAND, which is just your Wii memory. And to do that, all you need is boot me, which if you watch my how to install the homebrew channel, you already have it. So when you turn on your Wii, you'll get to this screen. Um, and all you need to do is hit the button with the gears and then go to the button with the green arrows. And then this screen will show up and it'll start to back up your Wii memory to your SD card. This should take about 10 minutes and during the process if you get any bad blocks, which are the black blocks, don't worry about it. It's normal. Okay, so when it's done it should look like this. As you can see in mine, there's a few black blocks which are the bad blocks, but that's just normal. It'll also ask you if you want to check the blocks and I recommend just doing that. It'll only take a few more minutes. Okay, now I need to start installing the files, so go to your Wii menu and load up the homebrew channel. Okay, when you get to the homebrew channel, go to the app called Trek a Bug Restorer. load it and you want to load iOS 36 and read the warnings and then it'll ask you to press 1 and just press 1 now select downgrade iOS 15 select to load the iOS from the SD card and just let it do its job Now just keep an eye on what it's doing and make sure you don't get any errors. And if it asks you to load from SD card, just hit yes. Okay, now when you get back to the homebrew channel, go to Treco Bugger Store again, load it, and select to load iOS 15 on the first screen. Now just wait, and you can read the warnings if you want. And it'll ask you to press 1. If you press a button too fast, it'll just kick you out and put you right back at the homebrew channel so wait a little bit
Okay, now I'm going to get back to this screen and you want to select iOS 36 menu and install patch and you'll get to this menu and make sure everything's on yes and just choose load iOS from SD card and make sure you get no errors. Okay, now when you get back to the homebrew channel again, go back to Trekker Bog Restore and click load and load iOS 36. And like the other two times, just wait until they ask you to press one and just press one. But this time, select restore iOS 15. Okay, now when you get back to the homebrew channel again, you want to load the app CIOS 38R14 installer and select iOS 36 at this beginning screen. And select WA install after this. This should take a few more minutes to install, but after it's done, you have some options. You can upgrade to System Menu 4.1 if you want. If your Wii version is 3.3 .3 or 3.4, you have to update. And before you update, you have to make sure you have at least 250 blocks free. And you can check that by going to Settings and then uh, Data. To update, all you need to do is go to WAD Manager and install iOS 60 patched. Then after that, go to the homebrew channel and and load the app Run Firmware Updater 4.1, and then you're updated. I'm gonna end the video here, so it's not too long. Make sure to watch the next one to finish this process of soft modding your Wii, so you can play backup Wii games and download Wii games.